Extreme Disorder. X1075. At the UFC 84 weigh-in, ill will, we're sitting here with Kenny Florian. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing well, guys. It's the Ken flow. Yeah. <laughs> the flow. <laughs> hey, I've got to say, great job on the commentating. Oh, uh, thanks. At the UFC event up in uh, Toronto. That was I'm a good time. I'm going to just make it stuff up. So That's none of that was accurate at all? No. I actually pre-recorded that. I predicted really? exactly <laughs> how it happened. And Matt Sarah loses. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey. All right. So okay. no. the, the commentating is something that maybe you want to get into down the road. Let's not yeah. focus on it. Let's talk yeah. about Kenny Florian's career because yes. you made sort of a surprise move, in my opinion. Yeah. You said, I want to fight Roger Huerta. Yes. Huerta. Why did you do that? Well, you know, he has a lot of hype right now, and, and he is undefeated. He's the only undefeated fighter right now in the UFC in the lightweight division um, who's fought more than, you know, twice, you know, three sure, times. Yeah. Right. So he's, he's doing well. He's doing well, and, and um, you know, there was some talk that he wanted a title shot. He believed he was the number one contender for a title shot, mm -hmm. and um, I want to prove him wrong, you know. Um, you want him to feel the flow. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, want to show, I want to show him the next level uh, of, of MMA, and, and um, you know, I have a lot of respect for him. It wasn't anything disrespectful. It just, uh, I think he's a good fighter. I think he's an aggressive fighter. I think he's an exciting fighter. And, uh, you know, I think if he wants to shot at the title, he's, he should go through me first. There you go. And he's kind of a pretty boy. Does that anger you? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Roger's a good kid. You know, Roger's a good kid, and, and uh, I really like him. And uh, Called him a kid. Just, uh, wow. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He reminds me of, uh, you know, it's like a son to me. No, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you're going to fight Roger Huerta, and then Dana White has basically already come out and said whoever wins this fight is getting the next title shot. Right, Ooh. right. How irked are you? today, because last time we talked to you at the last <laughs> UFC weigh-in over at Mandalay Bay, you were a little yeah. bit upset uh -oh. that Sean Shirk was back in the cage fighting for the title uh, belts yeah. again. Uh -oh. Well, you know, I was too, too angry. I mean, Sean Shirk, you know, the, the, the whole obviously steroid thing, you know, kind of made me a little angry, but, you know, I, I, my whole thing with that was the fact that he got off a little easier than Hermes Franca. You know what I mean? Hermes yeah. Franca was accused of the same thing, and he's out for a year, can't make any money, and Sean Shirk's right back in six months, and all of a sudden his first fight back, he also gets the title shot. Yeah. Uh, so I think I think it wasn't, you know, he's a great fighter. He definitely deserves I believe he's the, you know, BJ Penn and Sean Shirk right now. They are the number one, number two guy uh, out there right now. So I think in that regard, he, he deserves it. But from what happened, that's that was my more my problem with it. Do you but. think Sean Shirk took steroids? <laughs> Huh? Next did, question. Did you, see <laughs> <laughs> you have footage? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. And yeah, you know, it's it, you it's injected not, him. Uh, let's, Whoa. Let's, uh, Whoa. let's say this. It's you know, um, I, I don't know. I, I have friends over at the Olympic Training Center, and they're the first people to say no such thing as a false positive. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. well, well, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stunning words. Yes. Let's yeah. talk about the Huerta fight again because yeah. this one's very, very attractive to me. I mean, this dude is a, a tough fighter. Yeah. The Clay Guida fight is where he won me over as a fan. Did you say Huerta is very attractive to you? Huerta. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no. Oh, the, the fight. The fight oh, is no, very no, attractive no, 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 to no, no, me. Maybe both. <laughs> he is a handsome man. I can't lie. <laughs> now, uh, when he fought Clay Guida, he really won me over as a fan because yeah. Yeah. that fight was just amazing. Yes. And, and he showed that he has the ability to continue through a fight and go all three rounds or five rounds, really, I think, if necessary. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, he was well-rounded. Do you expect... To submit him, do you expect to knock him out? I mean, with a fighter like him that is pretty well rounded, how are you going to handle Huerta? Uh, he's tough as nails, you know. But uh, at the same time, I, I truly believe that um, I'm at a higher level technically. Uh -huh. uh, I don't, I don't believe that um, he's better than me at, at anything. Um, I think he's got a big heart. I think he's got uh, You're gonna a lot of skills, minute? but I just think I'm still at him. <laughs> I still think I'm, uh, I'm at a higher level, and, and uh, it, you know, it doesn't matter. You can talk as much as you want. And I got to go out there and prove it August 9th, and I'm ready to do it. And uh, you know, I, I think he's a great fighter. I, a lot of guys I think that have faced him didn't also have the, the cardio levels to keep up with him. I, right. I know that I do, and I can push it uh, even further than he can. And, and uh, I'm just I'm really looking forward to this fight. Uh, I love the way that he fights. Myself, I'm a fan. Uh, on August 9th, uh, he's an opponent. Though. Hmm. Could he beat you at chess? <laughs> Not even at chess, actually. Wow. Yeah, I got, I got a good awesome. chess game. How about, how about awesome. uh, Parcheesi? <laughs> Parcheesi, no. <laughs> no? Monopoly, not even Monopoly, about, Battleship, no. How Dude, about the my game, Battleship the, game is really strong. You're, you're how about the game of life? Huh? How about that game? <laughs> <laughs> the, the real game of life? <laughs> so you're saying you're going to sink his Battleship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he sank my Battleship. <laughs> All right, real quickly, let's breeze through these uh, top fights in this card okay. for tomorrow night. Leonardo Machida, Tito Ortiz. Machida. Who's going to win? Machida. 
I think so too. Now she's gonna. I go in a little bit more in depth. It's a tough. It's a tough fight um, for Tito. Um, Tito's got a lot. This is a very important fight for him. Uh, but I think Machida is just a little. He's too tough. He gets people to play his game so well. Yeah. Southpaw. Um, tough fight. Tough fight. I think Machida's the favorite. Okay. What about Jardine and Silva? Man, tough fight. I think if Jardine can keep him on the outside and be consistent with that, um, I definitely Jardine. I think if Vanderlei Silva starts coming very aggressively and gets on the inside of Jardine's reach, um, Vanderlei Silva can win it. Uh, so but you're right. Jardine does have a mean uppercut, though, yeah. and he has yeah. used that several times. He is, seen excuse it. me. He's the dean of mean. That's yeah. right. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> Referring to his uppercut. Yeah, he was yes. promoted. He was just like a professor now. Right, he's right. The dean. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he gets his yeah. own office and everything. Yeah. He did like, he did like a whole Jardine. thesis on yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right, so call it though. Who do you think is gonna win? Uh, if you were laying money on it, you guys. Um, let's go with. Let's go with Jardine. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. And BJ Penn and Sean Shirk. I'm gonna go with BJ. Um, yeah. I, both fighters. Who, who wouldn't go with BJ? I'm honestly. gonna go with BJ just because yes. he's got too much firepower. But I tell you what, if uh, Shirk can, can withstand those first couple rounds, then I, I you know. I think it's safe, maybe sure, but I don't know. But I what mean, is with you and the coin toss here? I know, Come on. I know. Well, that, that's legitimate, uh, though. If uh, it goes into the later yeah. rounds, it's possible that Shirk's conditioning will really Based on what him. we've seen in the past. I mean, yeah. uh, BJ looks like he's in phenomenal shape. He's trained very hard for this. Um, however, you know, we've got we to gotta go on what we've seen in the past. Shirk can freaking go just as he did in the first round and the fifth round. But can uh, we he have do it without the steroids? <laughs> oh, God. You guys. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. Kenny, thanks for talking to us, man. Uh, I enjoy talking to you guys. It's, it's always good. fun to have you on the show. Yeah, yeah. I feel good. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> best of luck August 9th with Huerta. And Huerta. we will talk to yeah. you soon, my friend. You guys are the best. We are Extreme Disorder. We are live at the UFC 84 weigh-in for X1075. Extreme Disorder. Yeah. X1075.